All right. First question. Was getting into a showman's ever a part of your plan from the start? I mean, I know me. So going into this, I knew that a showman's was going to be a real possibility. I'm super flirty and I love boys. So uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of figured that I was going to get into a showman's. Did I think it was going to be Corey on the first day? Absolutely not, but um, it, it was such a great surprise. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I love Corey, and I, I didn't think after meeting everyone on the first date, Corey was probably the last guy I thought I was ever going to be in a showmance with, just because of like age and him being like a student. I didn't think I would we would click so well, but I. I'm so glad that we started talking on like day like 12. We, we started talking late in the season and um, I, 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 I think things worked out. Everything's great, right? I don't know. Awesome. Corey in the beginning said he didn't want a romantic relationship in the Big Brother house, but you seem persistent in wanting to be more than friends. What did you see in him that his original boundaries didn't deter you? Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, I mean, Corey and I were started off as allies and allies only, right? When he came to me with a final two, I had already like developed a little crush on him. So I was like, okay, yay, final two. But like, are you going to kiss me or not? Right? Like, what's the vibe here? I... I, we just clicked so well and I love talking to him in a house full of just like annoying obnoxious people he was like the one person that I like didn't feel like overwhelmed with I could just sit with him and it was re actually relaxing I didn't feel like um like the, I didn't feel the pressure of the game and uh, and all these di all of these different factors right like uh, when I was speaking to him it was uh, I, I I guess I was persistent, right? Maybe just a little bit. He told me that his boundaries were cuddling and I was like, well, let's let let's see if that's how true that is, right? Um, I it's just, it's just something about him. I don't know, you gotta meet Corey. He's literally the funniest guy I have ever met. I and I in a house full of like really funny people, him being the funniest is like a big deal. I he's so funny, he's so witty, he's so intelligent, and I I just knew that I I had to get to know him more, and I I I wanted I wanted more. I don't know. <laughs> How do you want fans to remember your game this season? Wait, sorry, what was the question? How do you want fans to remember your game this season? Okay. I want fans to remember my game this season as, I don't know, hopefully not just someone that was being carried to the end. I know how annoying that is to watch when someone's just like, you know, especially when someone's not winning competitions, they're just letting, uh, they're just going with the flow of things or, or floating around and going to whoever's in power. I'm really hoping that, that that's not what, the fans saw or perceived I really was trying at the beginning to lay low I know how this game works and I know that like you know uh creating alliances and like making all these big game moves at the beginning can cause you to have a big target on your back and I really wanted to make it beyond the first few weeks so uh yeah I, I try to be as strategic as I could be with with what I have with, with what I had right so like I, at the beginning, I was trying to lay low and then, you know, once we wrapped it up and we were like halfway through the, through the season, I, I was just making it week by week, trying to maneuver as best as I could. It, it's just so hard. I, I hope fans remember, know that, that, that it, it's a hard, it is so difficult week by week. There's just so much press, pressure and so much stress. I hope I handled it. Uh, I thought I handled it well. I hope the fans saw that. Please explain to us what was happening in the house in the moments before your eviction. Oh my God, complete chaos right before my eviction. Everything was happening so fast. 
I had just been on the block next to Blue. Uh, so that felt like a, a whirlwind of emotions, right? Uh, uh, she had just been sort of blindsided and uh, a double eviction, never easy. The first one wasn't easy. And there were like 11 people in the house then. This one with, with six people was even harder. Everything was happening so, so fast. When Bowie won, I when Bowie Jane won, I really thought I had a chance, right? I had been trying to get closer to her all week and try to be like her, her bestie in this game. But overall, I just couldn't I just couldn't convince her to not put me up. And I, I told her, she when she told me that I was going up next to Felicia, I told her, I was like, Bowie, if you put me up, I'm going home. They're, they're going to evict me. They talking about Matt and Jag. Cause I knew, I knew what their plans were, right? Blue was at the door. I was definitely next on their list. Um, I, I, I just couldn't do anything. It, it was just heartbreaking. And I didn't think that I was gonna be that overwhelmed with like my emotions. I was just begging and pleading Matt and Jag, like, please, please, I'll keep you guys safe. I, I'll do anything, please keep me in. And I, Jag couldn't even look at me. So I knew then that there was nothing I could do and that that was the end. That was the end for me. Outside of your and Corey's evictions, when were you most frustrated you didn't have the power to shift the game? Um. Definitely last. So I was definitely after me and Corey's blind side, definitely the most frustrated last night during my eviction. I'm looking at Bowie and I'm telling her like, Bowie, do not put me up. I am going to go home. They told me they want me to go home. Like they, or I heard that they, that I'm next on the list. I'm next to go home. Like, do not do this. It was so frustrating because I just couldn't get through to her no matter what she has like the these like goo goo gaga eyes for Matt and Jag and she's like in this sort of trance uh that I just couldn't pull her away from at the end of the day like she's just so deep with Matt and Jag that it, it, I just I don't know I was like Bowie come on wake up like play this game for yourself and not for them she's telling me she's like Oh, I have to put you up. I made a promise to Sari and I can't put the boys up. And I'm like, why can't you put the boys up? Like they can, they, they should go home. Like she, it was just Bowie was, has been the swing vote all season. She's been a deciding factor. She's been the biggest floater, but Hey, it's worked for her. Uh, it was just so frustrating that I wasn't able to get her on my side. Why do you think no one has taken a shot at Matt and Jag? I think no one has taken the shot at Matt and Jag because no one but them have been able to win anything. Oh my God, they are huge comp beasts, not just in the physical comps, but in the mental ones as well. Ugh, it is so frustrating. And these competitions are so much harder than they look. Like, trust me, I thought going in here that I was going to be some sort of comp beast, right? Like, I, I got the mental down. I, I I got the physical. I can do it all. But no, I got there day one. And oh my God, that balance beam crash course was hard. And um, I just don't think anybody has taken the shot at them because they've, they haven't been able to. And the uh, only other people who have won HOH since like Cam is Bowie Jane. And Bowie Jane is their little groupie who will never put them up, will never vote to evict them. So that's that. As a BB super fan, was this everything you thought it would be? Any surprises? Oh my God. As a super fan, this has been like more than I could have ever dreamed of. Oh, every day I would wake up, even in like the, even on the hard days, I would wake up and I'd be like, I cannot believe I'm in the big brother house. And I'd look at the cameras, look at the mirrors, uh, hear the people in the walls. And I was like, oh my God, like I'm actually here. Every, literally every single day I would wake up and be just so grateful that I, that I got to play this game, that I got to be in the house. As like, as stressful as it is, I, it, it's it's my dream and it, it, it came true and I cannot cannot believe that any surprises I was I mean I'm surprised at how cold the house is it is cold like 
freezing, like sweatpants, sweater, jacket on top of that. Bowie Jane was wearing her parka all summer long because it's just so freezing in there. Um, what what else surprised me? I mean, it, it, the, the fluorescent lights are it, like, it's like you're, you're in a set and you feel like you're, in, I, I'm surprised at how easily uh, you forget that there are cameras around truly like eventually it just becomes your home and the last 86 days that has just been my life and I really didn't think about you know how like every move of mine was being like watched until like I'm going into the storage room and as soon as I'm going to go reach for the button to request for the storage room to open it opens up for me and I'm like oh my god like they're watching I I, I forget um but it's been such an incredible experience I, I i can't believe that this happened to me it literally feels so surreal to be back in like real life and be able to control like my own light switch is weird looking in the mirror and knowing that there's no camera behind it is so weird and trippy right now but um it was great i loved it it was an amazing experience how would you have played the game had you not met Corey? What, um, had I not met Corey, this game would have been a hundred times harder. Corey was my rock in the game. Like he, again, I was surrounded by so much chaos and stress. Corey was the person that I could actually like sit down and just, talk to and uh, talk non game to and just relax and, and be myself and not feel like uh, I'm being like manipulated or lied to or being talked to just for the sake of, you know, game purposes. So um, if he wouldn't have been there, oh my God, it would have been so much harder, but I, I definitely would have, would have done it. I would have done my best. Uh, I'm so glad that Corey was there though. Uh, to, to help me out, to help each other out. You know, I, I, I hope that I was able to, to help him in, in this game as well, just as he helped me. How much of Jag and Matt's success in the game do you credit to their competition wins versus strategy? Uh, well, first off, let's start off with Jag wouldn't even be in the game if it weren't for Matt's path to power win, right? So Jag has was a huge target from the beginning for really no reason for winning cockadoodle zoom i guess uh but jag was a target from the start he wouldn't have made it this far without matt's uh path to power win i think matt and jag are still in the game a little bit of both um but I mean, at this point in the game, it's so late in the game, competition wins are everything. And they are just, they have just been dominating veto after veto. Uh, Jag, I think, has like seven wins, uh, two HOHs, five vetoes. That is insane. Matt has now three vetoes. They're, they're comp beasts. And it's, I mean, they've played it. They, they've played it really well. And they made the right move, evicting Corey last week evicting me this week because we were definitely going to come after them the second we got the chance um it's it, it's been a bit of both but they're they're doing great they're, they're great players uh i guess i'll admit do you think Bowie jane will regret nominating you uh Bowie jane will regret nominating me if matt and jag tell her to regret nominating me. Uh, she's a little puppy dog fangirl. She doesn't have any thoughts of her own. I am really salty about my eviction, obviously still, but like, I mean, she'll, she'll see. She'll see when they turn their back on her and get her evicted that, you know, they aren't who they say they are and they're not loyal to her in the way that she thinks. Uh, I don't know. I, she, she'll see she'll see because at the end of the day i do think that man jag have a final four with sari and felicia i mean it would be the smartest thing to do right for them to pair up with the other duo who i'm sure in their eyes it are weak competitors and you know they can take on in, in the final four 
So I, I'm sure that Bowie Jane is the next one on their list. Uh, we'll see what happens.